Hi, my name is Lori and I've been working with Photoshop for over 25 years. Over the years I've learned a lot and I'd like to help you figure it out so you can become the best creative you possible. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new content. For the first video in our Photoshop Basics series, we're going to go over how to resize text in Photoshop. So to start it, I've already opened up a document uh, in Photoshop and I've typed out some text that we're going to use to resize. I have my layers panel open, I have my properties panel open, and I have my toolbar. I've, ha I've detached it from the side so I can pull it in closer to show you so you can see better. I'm just going to drag it out and I'm going to zoom in at my document. Okay, so to start to resize the text, we have to select the text layer. So in our layers panel, just click the text that you want to resize. Hit your selection tool, <coughs> excuse me, actually called your move tool. And you see that it highlights all, uh, puts a box around all this text. So one way to resize the text, if you're just eyeballing it, if you have a space that you need to fill with text, just take your mouse and put it on the corner on the, one of those little handles. Either corner will do. So we're just going to put our little mouse pointer over this handle until we get the diagonal 45 degree angle with the little arrowheads on each end. And while we have that hovered over the handle of the box, we're just going to hold our mouse button down. And it moved it. Oop. We'll try it again. Just hold down on your mouse button, drag it in, make it smaller, you can drag it out, make it bigger. That's one way to do it. Another way you can resize your text is with your properties panel. So when you click on your move tool, it puts a highlight around this. So if there was a box drawn to take in all this text, this would be the box. So in our properties panel here, it shows us our width and our height of the object that's selected, which is our text to resize. So right now it's 4.72 inches wide and it is 4.14 inches high. We can change these numbers pretty easily. There's a little um, icon here. It looks like a chain link. So that means the layers are linked. So the aspect ratio is linked. So if you change change the width of this size of this text, it's also okay. going to change the height. So let's change it to say a six or a seven, just so we can see the difference. We're going to change that to seven inches. Oops. And hit our tab key. Okay, you see it gets a lot bigger and it also changes the height of the text to 6.15. So let's just hit Control Z and undo what we just did. So we can make that 2 inches. So when we hit our tab key, it'll also change the height of the box. Okay. So just hit your Control Z button again. That'll undo what we just did. So let's take this link off here. Let's take this uh, aspect ratio button off. So now when we change the width of the text, the height won't change. It'll stay at 14.4, 14.14 inches high. So let's make this two inches, just to exaggerate it a bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Two inches. So you see how it crams it together? Hit your control Z button and undo what you just did. Um, conversely, now we'll change the height of the text without changing the width. So we'll make the height 2 inches, but we'll keep the width the same. 2 inches. So that's pretty straightforward. The width and the height on your properties panel in your transform section. That's where you make the changes. So let's go back to our original. Just hit Control Z to undo what we did. Okay, so now there's one more way we can resize this text, and this can be done before we even type the text. You just click your selection tool, your type 
tool and click anywhere around that text inside. So hit control A and that selects all the text. Now right up top here in your um, tools you see that there's a text section here. It has a little drop down menu where you can cho actually choose the size of the text. So let's make it a 36 point text. Okay. We can make it a 72. We can make it a 200. It only goes up to 72 in the drop down list, but we can type in 200 if we like. And hit your tab key. And you see how big that makes it. So let's get our drop down list again and we'll make it really, really small. Let's make it 12. So it made it really small. Okay, we don't have the text highlighted, so if we change the text size to 48, it'll still do it. As long as your text layer is selected, it'll still resize it. So just to recap, there's three ways you can resize text. You can actually just select the text and use a corner panel to drag. My computer's lagging a little bit here today. Get our move tool. So if you put your cursor over the corner of the square around the text, you can drag it out or you can drag it in. That's the first way. I'm going to make that stick. Just to make it stick, you just hit your enter key. It's one way to do it. Everything in Photoshop, there's probably four or five different ways of doing it. So in your properties panel, you can see that your text is 1.2 inches by 82 inches. Let's turn on the aspect ratio button, link. So now the, layer, the dimensions are linked, the width and the height are linked. So again, we're going to make this 4 inches. Okay. So it changed uh, the bottom layer as well, which the bottom layer is the height of the text. So if we change this to 4 inches, it'll make the width larger as well in aspect ratio to the size of the text is right now. So hit your tab key. See, it changed the width of it to 5.9. And the final way we can change the text, click our text tool, make sure our text layer is selected, and choose our size from the drop-down menu. So 18 point, that's what you get. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, uh, I really appreciate it if you give it a like. Probably give us a comment and let us know what you think. And uh, if you'd like to, you can subscribe to our channel so you can see other videos that we're going to be doing. Thanks.